We got some news on the from the Critter Cowboy today. As you know, we set out the, the Critter Trap last night because we got evidence of the digger underneath the fence. So we set out the Good Trap. Uh, we got us some news this morning. Check it out. Here we go. Armadillo Trap is empty. As you can see, we got the granddaddy. We tried to catch him. And this is the special trap here. But this armadillo exploded out of this trap. What they do is they get down underneath this door and they push up with their body enough to deform this brace. Deform. See how the frame is deformed? Enough to push the brace out, the gate up, and they make their escape. We don't know what they're gonna do now. We've got the we've got the armadillo, the I guess the size of uh, Armageddon here. We're gonna call him Armageddon because he's uh, he's forced his way out of the best trap we have. We've got to go back to the drawing board. What are we gonna do? Pretty cowboys puzzled. If you look closely, you can see Armageddon here has found a new way in or out of the yard. Underneath the back neighbor's fence. This critter is the Godzilla of all of them. Right so here. when in doubt, call up Amazon.com. We've got this Duke cage trap. Suitable for raccoons, foxes, and armadillos, it claims. Amazon delivered it pretty quickly. We went ahead and got a new trap. You can see it's considerably larger than the uh, uh, the old trap. And heavy-duty construction. And what it has is, it's got these, these rings here. To set the trap, you sort of move the rings up like so. And let me get this, this, the trap set up for you. Yeah, this is going to be round five here with the Armageddon Armadillo here in San Antonio. I'm going to try to make uh, make our town time uh, per productive. See if we can catch up this critter. We'll set the trap out let you know what happened. So here we got the uh, the new uh, Duke critter, critter trap set up. It's ready to receive Armageddon, the armadillo. We've got the uh, critter cam set up right next door to track the commotion. And, uh, you know, wish us luck tonight. Yeah, I slept in a little bit this morning. I just want to catch, check out the uh, critter, the critter cage, see what's going Guess on. Guess what, our new Duke track did the tr trick. We got us a new critter here. Sure enough, sure enough, look at that face. Look at those ears, that's a new critter right there. That is a new critter. He's a beauty. He's a young one. Look at his ears. Not chewed on. Beautiful animal. Beautiful. Beautiful animal. Well, we're home back home uh, after the release of Armageddon the Armadillo. We've got the Critter Cowboy here. Just some notes uh, towards the end of, of it is, uh, how do you know when you release an armadillo, how do you know he doesn't come back and you catch the same one? Well, uh, you can really tell by the ears. Uh, uh, the nine-banded armadillo can't curl up in a ball like other armadillos, so he's subject to uh, a little critter predation of his own. So you get coyotes or dogs or foxes or something will come over and try to take on the armadillo, and uh, the only handle they can get on him is his tail and uh, his ears. And so you'll notice 
uh, that the, each armadillo will have a unique uh, set of bite marks on the ears. Uh, the critter we caught, we call him Armageddon because he broke out of the super trap before. Uh, he's a young buck. He's got no bite marks on his ear. So uh, the problem is, is if we caught his mama and his papa, and now we call Armageddon, well, guess what? There might be three other critters floating around as brothers and sisters as big or bigger than he is. So we don't know what's going to happen. We're going to set the trap out again. But uh, we'll end this video with a picture of Armageddon just so you'll know what he looks at like. And uh, you got the Critter Cowboy signing off.